Hey, what's up guys? This is my second episode of the best root apps for Android. If you have not been through my previous episode, the link to it is in the description. So without any further ado, let's begin. The first one here is the Greenify. Basically, this app manages your background running apps without compromising on the performance, leading to a better battery performance. Frequently used apps like Facebook, Instagram, Flipboard, etc. or any of the apps that you use the most are consuming a lot of resources and memory since they are running in the background. So you can just launch the Greenify and here you can see all your background running apps. Select the app you want to hibernate and tap on the tick mark. This will hibernate the app. That means, say for example, if I hibernate Facebook, it will consume very less memory, but I will be getting all the notifications. The performance will not get disturbed. It's just that when the app is running in the background, Greenify helps to manage resources in an efficient way. In case if you want to remove any app from the hibernation, tap and hold the app and hit the cross icon. So guys, if you are a root user, this is a must have app as it manages your background running apps and overall it improves your battery performance. The next one here is the Addaway. You don't get this app in the Play Store. I will add the link in the description for the APK file. Basically, this app blocks all the annoying ads while browsing or the ads that pops up while using any apps and games. So what you do is launch this app and tap on download files. Once done, you can apply ad blocking. As we can see, we have successfully applied the ad blocker. You can tap here to check for updates for better ad blocking. So guys, now I launched the MX player which previously had an ad. Now you can see I don't have any ads. So similarly, this app works to block all the annoying ads on your apps or while browsing etc. So a very handy app to block all the annoying ads. The next one here is the 6-axis controller. This app lets you wirelessly pair your PS3 or PS4 controller to your Android device. I have done a tutorial for how to use this app for which I will leave the link in the description. Basically, I just wanted you guys to be informed about this app. So guys, as you can see, I'm wirelessly playing the game with the PS3 controller on my Android device. Uh, yes, you can play games with the help of an OTG cable, but to play wirelessly, you need to use this app. The next one here is the Quick Boot. In so many Android devices, you don't have the reboot option and you need to press physical keys to get into the recovery mode or the bootloader mode. But with this app, you get four options that is reboot your device get into the recovery mode, bootloader mode or power off. Say for example, if I need to install any custom ROM, I don't need to press any physical keys. I just need to select recovery and then grant the super user permission for the first time and the phone will automatically boot into the recovery mode. So there you go. I personally feel this app is very useful if you are into flashing custom ROMs or mods. The next one here is the ES file explorer. Basically, this is a file manager app, but if you are into different types of mods and you need to access the system files, so for that you need a root explorer. If you tap here, you will get additional options. Under tools, enable root explorer and grant the super user permission. Now you can access the system files. So now you can replace your system files, uh, do the changes if you are into modding. You can play around with the system files for various mods, ports, etc. So this is all in one kind of file manager. You have just as support, cloud storage support. You can transfer files through LAN, compress and extract zip files and many more. The next one here is the startup manager. This app lets you control the apps that loads as soon as you start your device. Simply launch the app and here you have option to disable the user installed apps, system apps and the customized tab where you can add your own apps to the startup. So let's go ahead, disable some of the apps and then reboot the device. Say for example the FM radio and few others. Now let's go ahead and reboot. Okay, so we are back checking for the running apps. As you can see, we don't have the FM radio running now. We have to launch that app manually. You can do that with any of the apps you want. 
So guys, if you feel your phone is lagging a lot, you can just disable some of these apps from your startup, which will definitely improve your device performance. The last one for today's episode is the boot animation. You can change your boot animation with the help of this app. You have lots of boot animations to choose from. Select the one you like and hit install. Once done, you need to grant the super user permission. Let me just restart the device now. So guys, you also can add your own custom boot animations with the help of this app. So as you can see right now, I have the new boot animation that I have downloaded. So if you like customizing your boot animation, this app is great for you. So that's all for this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I will be coming up with the third episode very soon. Stay tuned for that and you guys have a great time.